Hey guys, I'm back with another video today. I'm feeling a little underneath the weather, so I might sound like a whispering or speaking a little low, but like my chest really hurt me today. But I have some inspiration and some encouragement for you guys today. Excuse me if like if you hear me like pause in the video or take a break because you know your girl is get tongue tie and stuff like that. So I will try to speak properly in this video for you guys. But I just wanted to share some encouragement today. Like throughout this whole pandemic, we have forgotten. We have forgotten a lot. Like we have doubted so much, so many cry, so many judgments, so many things that we had um, done through this pandemic. So I was reading my devotion today uh, my devotion topic is remember what you have forgotten. So I said, you know what? I feel that I can come on, record a video and share this devotion because a lot of us, we're feeling empty. We're feeling broken. We're feeling sad. We're feeling alone. We don't know what we could do. We don't know how we can pay our bills. We don't know how we're going to feed our kids. We don't know the outcome of anything right now. So I think this devotion would help us throughout everything that we're going through today. And I hope this video will encourage you, will give you faith, will, will cause you to turn to the Word, turn to the Lord and, and pray. Pray for better days, you know, pray for more blessings, pray for miracles. So here we go. Life can take some unexpected turns leaving your faith in a state of shock and causing you to forget what you should remember and remember what you should forget. I find you continually doubting my provision, paralyzing your faith because doubt has defeated any that you had. I do not have a short supply of miracles and I hear you when you call. I will not fail to help you in your time of need. Too often you receive my miracles but fail to remember them. Or you consistently look for signs and miracles when you should be simply looking for me. Don't have hope in the outcome of your circumstances, but instead put your hope in me. Then you will never be disappointed. Remember, the miracles of the past are not just your own. Recall me feeding the 5,000 and healing the sick. Don't forget David defeating Goliath and Jonah surviving being swallowed by a fish. These miracles are for you to remember to assure you of my protection and my provision. Whatever giants you're facing, relationship issues, financial ones, illness or emptiness, I will give you everything you need to defeat them. And the scripture to back this up is Mark 8 and 18, coming from the New Living Translation. You have eyes, can't you see? You have ears, can't you hear? Don't you remember anything at all? So that's the end of my devotional. And I hope those words would have sink into you, would have encouraged you, would have touched you in so many ways. I hope those words truly uplift you. And once again, I want to thank you guys. Sorry, I got interrupted. But as I was saying, thank you guys for being there, for supporting me, for encouraging me, for always telling me to do my best. And continue doing what I do and so I'd like to tell you guys a big thank you and do enjoy your day and I hope that we'll touch each and every one of you today. Bye!